What's up everyone, it's Gio here and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you guys are here once again. And if you haven't had a chance to do so yet, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, it's right down there, easy peasy. And uh, at the end of this video, if you really liked it, give me a thumbs up, give me some comments, give me some feedback, and most importantly, ask me some questions because I like answering them. So anyway, today's a little different than what you've seen typically on my channel. And as I'm building this channel and thinking about things that I wanna do with the channel and the content that I can create and bring to all of you who are watching it, I started thinking about some of the things that fascinate me and interest me. And my number one interest in life is photography. And I've been doing that professionally for a number of years and also filmmaking. And I started thinking about the history of filmmaking and the history of photography because that's always fascinated me. And I thought, let's go back in time and look at some old stuff. And I was looking online and researching and, and thinking about this channel. And I came across this one particular video that just fascinated me. I sat there staring at it and I was sort of in awe of what I was seeing. And I thought, you know what? I wanna bring that video to you guys. So the good news is due to common licensing rights, I can do that. And I was able to download a copy of a film that was actually produced on April 14th, 1906. At the time, there was a number of films being produced, silent cinema at the time. And uh, these were very, very popular. They were called Hale's Tours of the World. And um, anyway, on this particular day in 1906, these people were really smart in that they took a 35 millimeter camera and they mounted it to the front of a cable car, street car, in San Francisco on Market Street. And it's very simple. It's just a cable car shot all the way down Market Street. And at the very end of it, we sort of end at what was the Embarcadero and the clock tower, which still stands today. The most fascinating thing that I found about this video, though, is that just four days later, on April 18th, 1906, the Great Earthquake hit San Francisco. And what did that do? It destroyed most of San Francisco due to the earthquake and the resulting fires that, that came after. And so most of what you're seeing in this video doesn't exist anymore or was burned to the ground and rebuilt, except for that clock tower. So that's pretty cool. The fascinating thing I also found out about this video is that just the day before on April 17th, they took the footage that they filmed that day and shipped it to New York City for editing. And had they not done that, this footage would have been lost to the world and never ever seen. So in my quest to find interesting things to bring you, I was like, this is really cool. And then if we take it in context of today, think about the filmmaking and what's going on and what you as somebody who's watching these videos sees. Perhaps it's GoPro stuff. Everybody's got a GoPro these days. GoPro on the forehead, GoPro on the arm. We go to a theme park, we're filming roller coasters. I do it, everybody does it. Well, think about for a minute, back then, 1906, filmmaking was just starting and these guys were brilliant enough to think in terms of bringing you a point of view video that had never been done before. Um, the video was silent, so I don't wanna just show you a silent film for the next 11 minutes. So what I did is I found some old timey music that I thought was pretty cool. And with the help of another filmmaker and artist friend who also had done some work with this particular footage, and he found online a whole bunch of clips of the old horse and buggies, the old Model T Ford, the sound of those cars, the sound of what street cars sounded like back then, and took all of that sort of as a Foley artist, if you will, and pieced all of that together to kind of give a little authenticity to what it may have sounded like in 1906. So you'll hear that underlaid on this video as well. A couple things that I find really fascinating about watching it, maybe you can do the same thing as you're watching. Pay attention to the few shots where you see people Look at what they're wearing, amazing, full clothed, men in suits, women in long gowns, everybody's got a nice hat on. The other thing that I found fascinating is, and I did not know, here in the United States of America in 1906, the steering wheels on our cars were on the right-hand side, not the left-hand side as they are today. And I found out that it wasn't until 1910 that Ford actually took it from the right, moved it to the left, and then by 1920, most vehicles were then on the left-hand side. Fascinating little fact. The other thing that just amazed me is I don't think I would have wanted to be driving back then because if you look at the video, the cars are all over the street. Nobody's paying attention to any sort of traffic laws. I don't think they existed back then. It's quite chaotic and it's quite fun watching this video. So without further ado, there you go. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
give a big shout out to the Niles SNA Silent Film Museum for finding this footage and putting it out there and making it available to creators like myself under the common usage laws that exist. And so for that, I'm grateful. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you haven't done so yet, give me a couple thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, always remember, happiness is a lifestyle. Peace out, everyone.